countries have a court of appeal. Uh, we have no civil court of appeal. But the, <coughs> the government is introducing a referendum in the autumn proposing that we establish a general civil, a general court of appeal in Ireland which would deal with both civil and criminal matters. This is a matter I have advocated over for years and I'm delighted that the government is taking steps to introduce this important reform. Very considerable work was done by the Working Group on the Court of Appeal, which reported in 2009 and which sets a basic blueprint for the project. The proposal for the Court of Appeal was the subject of a seminar recently in the Law Society, organised by the Minister for Justice, Alan Shatter, at which the Attorney General, the Minister and I and others spoke on the proposed referendum. This is one of the several topics upon which I have had many constructive meetings with the Minister for Justice in relation to future developments and reforms in the court. Currently, a group of judges is preparing further information for the Attorney General on this proposed referendum on a Court of Appeal. Now, the Court of Appeal is a matter upon which I have also had discussions with the Taoiseach, amongst other matters. And you will appreciate that in dealing with matters of government, many have to be desperate dealt with confidentially. While I've had a constructive discussions with the Taoiseach on matters relevant to the executive and the judiciary, the normal conduit between the judiciary and the executive is the Attorney General, and that avenue of contact continues as a positive and a proper route. I cannot say enough about the energy and commitment of my colleagues on the bench about the judges of Ireland in reacting to the situation the state has found itself in in the past few years. They have, in court, imaginatively and with deep compassion, dealt with those who have been led to the courts uh, by debt issues. They have, in work practices, continued to show an enormous willingness to change and to undertake more work with less resources. One calculation has been seen by court service, one, one um, calculation uh, by our court service shows increased pro productivity by 25% uh, in this challenging time and the judiciary have played an important part in that achievement. The judges of Ireland are undertaking a key role patriotically as they maintain the rule of law and the democratic nature of this state <coughs> in these difficult and troubled times and I am honoured to work with them through this time of national economic crisis. They are currently issues of concern to the judiciary, which have been highlighted in recent times by members of the judiciary. And it is clear that new structures are required. These have been subject to regular meetings I've had with the Attorney General. Because of the concerns of the judiciary, I suggested to the government that there should be more regular engagement to facilitate constructive discussion on these and other matters of mutual concern and interest to the judiciary and the executive. This process of engagement has now commenced and a further meeting was held last Monday. In due course, I intend to meet the Taoiseach to discuss the issues of mutual concern that emerge from this process. <coughs>